Okay. And Dr. August, it's lovely to meet you. Hi. So I understand you're experiencing some pain. Yeah, just kind of a little bit like around my kidneys sometimes, like when I get up in the morning, it's mm -hmm. kind of painful. Sometimes when I eat, it's a little bit painful. I just want to kind of see if there's a problem there and okay. also like headaches, but I'm not sure if they're related. Okay. You, <clears throat> you mentioned uh, around your kidneys. Mm. Have you had a kidney infection before? Do you know what kidney pain feels like? No, but it's kind of, it's mm. usually in this region. Where the kidneys are? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you have a uh, family history of kidney disease, dialysis, diabetes? Um, my granddad had diabetes and I think my dad did have a kidney infection when he was younger. He might have mentioned that at some point. Okay. But um, nothing recent. Okay. I think. Any other uh, kind of major illnesses in the family? Um, Heart disease, cancers? Yeah, my granddad also had cancer, my okay. other granddad. Um, besides that, I would say okay. reasonably healthy. Okay. And how do you feel overall, apart from the pain? Um, feel under the weather at A all? little bit, so sort of kind of, I guess. I find it really hard to kind of wake up and adjust to the day. It, gives, okay. it takes me about an hour. I feel kind of uh, low effort, like low energy. Okay. If that makes sense. So a little bit of fatigue. Mm. And can I just ask about your lifestyle? Okay. So do you eat fairly healthy? Sometimes. Okay. And sometimes. So what would what would be an average uh, meal for you for for, for dinner? Or? Um, I try and eat sort of. Chilies, curries, okay. lots of protein, sort of wholemeal, um, and then I'll take it, so I'll just eat takeaway, mm -hmm. and kind of, you know, not great. Okay, no, no judgement here. Um, you m mentioned you eat a lot of protein, do you work out? Yeah, interesting. How many times a week? Five, six, sometimes three maybe, okay. depending on work and other commitments. And is that cardio or kind of weight training? It's mainly weight training, but I do cycle. And may I ask, are you taking any steroids? No. Mm. Okay, that's good. And in terms of alcohol, smoker, how many times a week would you say you uh, drink alcohol? Um, once a month, twice okay, a month, good. possibly. And then, are you a smoker? Yeah, okay. sort of more regularly than I used to. Mainly when I'm working, but I work a lot more than I used to, so okay. maybe yeah. a pack a week. And at, at 20? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What I think I'm going to do is go straight into um, have a look at your ab abdomen, okay? Um, I'm gonna have a feel around and see if I can trigger some of the pain, maybe okay. see where it's coming from. Okay, I don't want you to be too uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna see if it is definitely coming from your kidneys. It may be your appendix, it may be something else. Okay. And then we'll move on to check your vitals yeah. and see if everything else is working as it should. Um, and then I might do some further tests just to make sure I'm, I'm on top of what's going on. Sure. All right. Okay. Okay, so if you don't mind popping your top off, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we'll have a look. Okay. okay, so if you could just point to where you're feeling this pain. So in this region, and like, okay. uh, when I eat kind of here, but it's mostly here. Mm -hmm. Is it on the other side, or just one side? Just this side, I think. Okay. Um, actually, sometimes it's on that side. Yeah, but mainly kind of around this area. Okay, and how long has this pain been going on for? Two months, possibly. Okay. Maybe six, six weeks to eight weeks. Um, and I'm assuming because it's been that long, it's not too painful. Otherwise, you may have come a bit sooner. Um, it's increasing. It's getting worse. Yeah, so it's, it's not, it's not super comfortable. Okay. Do I have permission to touch? Yeah, of course. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is just feel. And now you let me know if I suddenly trigger something. I don't want to hurt you. Mm, around there kind of thing. 
Is it hurting when I press? A little bit, yeah. Okay, and that's quite shallow. That definitely feels like a muscle. Okay, I'm just going to feel at the back. Sure. Okay. Mm, sort of there as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Equal. Do you mind if I put a little bit of pressure? No, it's fine. Okay. You might have to push against me a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> It's a little painful. Okay, alright, I'm not going to do that again. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Okay, let's feel on this side. Not as bad there. Okay, can I press a little bit harder? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like when you press it quite hard, it's a, it's a little worse, but nothing on the other side. Okay, I'm just going to have a visual look. I'm just going to take a step back and just... doesn't look like there's any redness. doesn't look like there's any swelling. No obvious kind of lumps or bumps on the surface of the skin there. I'm just going to tap. Okay. And just try to relax. Make sure you're taking nice deep breaths. Okay, it didn't sound like there was any sweating under the skin. I'm going to have a listen now. Sometimes we can hear... Um, whether there's a build-up of fluid or blood rushing to the surface. Okay. Okay, so this might be a little bit cold. Okay. So, just relax there. sounds good. I'm just going to have a little listen to your stomach and I'm actually just trying to hear if there's any kind of unusual bowel sounds listening to the digestive system. And I'll eventually listen to the chest in a second. Okay. All right. Do you feel comfortable just turning around? Sure. Yeah? Okay. So, I just wanna see if I can. Take a nice deep breath in. Okay, and again. Okay, let me turn back around. Just take a couple of measurements. Sure. Okay, I'm just gonna weave this round. We might want to repeat this. Okay. Is it higher up? Okay. So I do think that it's going to be underneath the muscles. I think given the rest of your symptoms, it is going to be kidney okay. related, potentially, okay. or in the digestive system, okay? Uh, I don't want to press too hard, so I'm not going to continue a physical examination, 
I will book you in for a scan and okay. then that will help us know exactly what's going on but I think what I'm going to do now I'll ask you to pop your top back on and we'll move on to your vitals okay alright All right, then I'm going to take your blood pressure okay so if you just pop your arm in here okay and then I'm going to ask you to just relax your arm there okay so nice and relaxed you to just hold that there with your other hand. That's great. Okay. normal. 125 over 80. Um, I usually say 120 is about normal but you're a male and you exercise so sometimes the blood pressure comes out a little bit a little above bit average but it's completely normal so I'm not okay. concerned. I'm sure the smoking doesn't help either. Mm. Well you obviously know it's not healthy. Okay so I'm going to now just listen to the heart so I'm going to pop that there. Alright, now I'd just like you to just relax, okay? I don't want you to, uh, to get a false breathing because you're a little bit more apprehensive, so... The heart sounds really healthy, nice strong beat. Okay, it's no palpitations, it's very regular. Okay, that sounds good. While I'm here, I'm just going to listen to your lung. So I'll get you to take a nice deep breath in through the nose and then out through the mouth. That's great. To the other side. And again, a nice strong breath in and then out. That's great. Nice clear lungs. No sounds, no signs of mucus buildup or anything. That's really good. We listened to them when we um, did your exam. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of listen to the blood vessels in the neck. And there's a really good flow of blood into the brain there. And on the other side, again, really good flow of blood, nice and healthy. Okay. Now, I'm just going to hold your wrist if that's okay. I'm just going to feel for your pulse. Okay. And at the same time, I'm going to just be measuring your breathing rate. So please just breathe as you would normally, okay? Okay, good pulse rate. Not too fast. Okay. Alright, just relax there. What I'm going to do now is check your neurological system. So I'm going to look at your eyes, see how your eyes respond to light. Um, and then I might do a few cranial nerve tests as okay. well. Okay. Sure. Alright, so if you could just look into the distance. Uh, apologies if this is a bit bright, I'm just going to see your pupil response. Ok, 
Okay, very good. Pupils are dilating nicely. Okay, I'm just going to look at your pupil size now. Okay, they are quite small at the moment, but it is, we do have a bright light, so. Okay, if I can ask you to put one hand over one eye. Okay, I'm just going to check that this eye isolated works well. And I'll get you to just look at the light there. Okay, and just remove one hand. And they cover the other eye. Okay. Looking at the light. And just following that. And that's great. Okay. Well, I'm going to get you now. Just relax. Okay. I'm going to ask you to place one hand on your nose bridge. Okay. And I'm just going to show the light in one eye. Oh, that's excellent. I'm just checking the other eye dilates. That's brilliant. Okay, I'll just relax there. Okay. I'm going to ask you to just look at this light now. Okay. And I'm just going to ask you to follow that. And what I'm actually just checking for is any kind of issues with the cranial nerves, in particular the optic nerve. Okay, just blink a few times, just kind of ground yourself again. Okay, just so ask you to look here. I'm just looking at my finger. And now at the pen. Back at my finger. And at the pen. At the pen. Finger. Pen. Finger. Okay, don't want to make you dizzy, but your eyes are responding really well. Okay. If you just look uh, into the distance there, I'm just going to have a quick look with the light. There's whites of the eyes look good. Okay, eyes don't look too dry. Do you suffer with dry eyes at all? Sometimes in the morning. Okay. Only a little bit, but it goes through like within sort of half an hour, maybe. Okay. Alright. Alright, oh, if I get you to just tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Two, one, three, five, and one. Yep, <laughs> that's perfect. Okay, do you sweat uh, unusually at all? Are you aware of it? Um, I think I'm probably warmer than, I'm usually the most warm person in the room. Okay. But not abnormally. Okay. Feel forehead. Alright, yeah. There's no normal sweating. Okay, we checked your breathing. Breathing's great. Eyes. And um, we checked a couple of the cranial nerves there. Okay. Just want to do a couple of sensation tests, if that's okay with you. Sure. So if I ask you to close your eyes, okay? I'd just like you to tell me where you can feel my touch. Okay. Yeah. Nose, uh, forearm, thumb, chin, forehead, back of the head. Perfect. Alright, do you suffer with dizziness? No. Okay. Now, I just have a couple of other questions. 
Um, what's your appetite like? Big. <laughs> I, eat, I eat quite a lot. Um, I try and diet, as I said earlier, but yeah, especially in the evenings. Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you suffered any weight loss recently that's been a little unexplained? Uh, no, it's been a, it's some intentional weight loss, I guess. Okay. Maybe a couple of pounds. Nothing spectacular. Uh, is your urination normal? Yeah, yeah, maybe two or three times in the middle of the night. Okay. Do you drink a lot of water before bed? No, I probably could do with drinking more. Okay. You talked a little bit about some fatigue, maybe struggling to wake up in the morning. Yeah, definitely. Okay, do you feel tired during the day? Yes, usually around sort of late afternoon. Uh, and then before bed I seem to kind of wake up quite a lot and then I struggle to sleep. Okay. And then I'm super tired in the mornings as well. And, um, what was I going to ask you? Vomiting. Are you experiencing any vomiting? No, no. Okay. Right. I am leaning slightly more towards there, this being a kidney function issue. I have a few more tests. I'm going to just check your um, BMI. Okay. I'm going to look for any swelling. I'm going to feel the muscles and have a look at the skin. Okay. And then I'm going to do a small uh, head exam just to see if there's any kind of swelling or, or pain in the head at all. Um, and then we should be good to move you on to some um, blood tests that we're going to do and some scans. Okay. okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check the uh, fat distribution on the body, okay? Okay. So I've just got this tool here and it's just going to slightly squeeze and I'm going to try and just measure, which you don't have a lot of, so this won't be too difficult. I'm just going to do it in random places. I'm just going to try it on a couple of areas on the face. Okay, I think it's obvious that there's quite a low um, low body fat, which is great. Not concerned there, and if you're saying that you're not ha- you haven't had any um, kind of major unexplained weight loss, then mm. I'm not concerned with that at all. Okay, I'm now going to feel for any swelling. And I'm just going to feel the muscles in general. Uh, Hopefully you won't experience any pain, but if you do, just let me know. Sure. No swelling around the shoulder joints, which is good. Just get you to any discomfort? No. Okay, let's relax that arm. Feels quite nice, aren't you? Okay. Well, I do need to do it fairly firm because obviously, um, where you've got 
quite tense muscles. Mm. Um, it allows me to just have a, a better feel. Whereas sometimes I'm struggling to find the muscle. So this makes my job easier. feels good. It's feeling around the hairline. That feels good. Now, if it's okay, can I touch your head? Yeah. And what I'm feeling for is any lumps or bumps on the head. Any swelling, any areas of pain. And it all feels good. Any pain at all? No, just a little bit of tenseness here. Around the temples? Yeah. Okay. Tends to be where I get headaches. Right, okay. Well, that's definitely a tension related headache. Mm -hmm. um, may I ask how much caffeine you take? Probably a, a considerable amount, usually before the gym, and uh, quite a lot when I work. So, more than uh, an average person, I would say. What I might suggest is that the body is maybe struggling to relax a little bit, which is triggering the tension headaches. Very common to. I struggle to sleep as well. You struggle to sleep? Yeah, well, I usually stay up until the early hours and then I have to get up early, so probably not enough. Okay. I'm going to suggest that the temple pain headaches may be not related. Probably to the not, kidney. Okay. Maybe more related to lifestyle. Um, just taking it a bit more easy, hmm. giving your body a bit of a break. That makes sense. Okay, um, right, so in terms of the kidney, I am going to refer you for a blood test. Okay. okay? And that will check for any um, levels of infection in the bloodstream. Okay. Um, we'll also check, check for diabetes or anything kind of related to the kidney function. I'm going to also put you in for a scan. And then that will look at your kidney as a whole. Okay. And then it will also look at the abdominal area. It may be something related, nearby, okay. very nearby. Um, so we will definitely find that out in the scan. I'm also going to suggest some lifestyle changes, which we've just discussed, okay, sure. which may help. Um, but I do believe that the kidney tests need to be followed up, okay? So we're not going to leave that any longer. Okay, sure. All right, do you have any questions at all? No, I think it's pretty... Yeah, it covers, it all. covers it all. Okay, perfect. All right, Rob, it was lovely to meet you. Thank okay. you. 
and um, yeah, well, I'll be in touch with the results of the Brilliant. blood test. Okay, thank you. All right, take yeah. care. God, it's really relaxing. I can see why she does this for a job. <laughs> <laughs>